forward along the timeline yet again, uh, we come to the development of liberation theology, which is something I also alluded to in my autobiographical statement because at one point in time I considered myself to be a liberation theologian. Let me read to you uh, from the Encyclopedia Britannica uh, a, a description of this particular theology. Liberation theology, a religious movement arising in late 20th century Roman Catholicism and centered in Latin America. It sought to apply religious faith by aiding the poor and oppressed through involvement in political and civic affairs. It stressed both heightened awareness of the sinful socioeconomic structures, you hear that word again, that cause social inequities and active participation in changing those structures. Liberation theologians believe that God speaks particularly through the poor and that the Bible can be understood properly only when seen from the perspective of the poor. That last little part of the description is very interesting because what the liberation theologians thought they were engaged in was rethinking theology from a new standpoint. As they saw it, most if not all theology that theretofore been developed in, uh, at least in the West, had been developed from the standpoint of people in power. What the liberation theologians wanted to do was to now think about theology from the perspective of the oppressed, see what their lived experience uh, of, of reality, uh, as it might be informed by theology, uh, was. Hey, thank you so much for coming by and checking out this episode. If you want to see more clips like the one you just saw, click here and watch it right here. Or if you want to see the rest of the episode, you can click and watch it right here. Thanks for coming by, everybody. Bye-bye.